Greetings, my lord. Your lady hath arrived to be escorted forthwith. That's pretty good. I didn't know you spoke Renaissance. Oh, yeah, quite fluent in Renaissance. You look nice. I'm loving the tie. Thanks. You look beautiful. Flattery will get you everywhere, my friend. Shall we? Let's go. No, oh, really, a nice manly wreath in your hair wouldn't work? There's no such thing as a manly wreath. Oh, I don't know. Julius Caesar pulled it off. He was very popular with the ladies. Cleopatra used to pull his leaves off. Very sexy. What's this? Surely these be time travelers from the future in such foreign mystical garb. And who be you, kind sir? TJ's brother. I got a patio furniture store down in Nutley. Plastic, metal, teak, whatever you need, I can hook you up. OK, thank you. Just do me a favor. I'm gonna try to keep a happy, proud look on my face to cover the smirking and about to laugh my ass off face just underneath. Help me achieve this. Oh, come on. They have a community of people, friends, you know, who travel together, engage in silliness, dress in costume. I think it's nice. Hi, Lucas. Oh, hi, Carrie. Is that a power suit? It's my only suit. Looks pretty powerful to me. So, um, Barry stayed home. Who? The ball and chain. I'm flying solo tonight. Save a dance for me. Uh, I don't dance. <laughs> You will dance. Hey, how about we work on him together? <laughs> I think there's a hoofer buried deep inside there, don't you? I guess. Carrie, this is Lorelei. No, no, hi. Hi. So, um, there's gonna be a little delay. Liz ripped her dress, and it's gonna take a while to fix it. I'm supposed to spread the message. Well, spread it, Carrie. Uh, the message, the message. <laughs> She makes me very uncomfortable. Poor Liz. Does she know how to fix something like that? Well, she was never one for household skills. I'm gonna go see. She's at Miss Patty's. Don't leave me alone. Carrie found the guy with the codpiece. That'll keep her occupied. Hurry back. 